Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to set up a simple waypoint system. So we're going to be able to tell when our character spawns, the distance they are between a certain object, and you can have multiple objects. In later tutorials we're going to be figuring out how to, once the player reaches that location, send them to a different location, and also display everything on screen. And we can give uh, each waypoint a different icon, or same icon, but um, just display the numbers on the screen for how far away they are and optimize the code a little bit so the distance code isn't being called constantly but in this one we're just gonna set up a simple system if you wanted one for your game so first thing you're gonna want to do is create two empty game objects so create empty and then just name it waypoint one and waypoint two now from here we're not gonna be messing with this code we're just gonna be doing it all in player stats for right now so we can go open player stats. You're going to need to create a couple of variables. So we're going to be creating waypoints, and these are an array of game objects. So these two brackets make it an array. And then variable node is pretty much for um, the array itself for looping through. So at the beginning, it's going to start off at zero, which is the first node, first waypoint. And then for future tutorials, we're going to be using um, trigger enters to change the node to a different one. But we're going to need to figure out a code so that we can delete the, uh, the node after we're done with it. And that can get a little bit tricky. So we're not going to mess with that in this tutorial, but yeah. So pretty much after you create those two variables, you're also going to need distance, which is going to be this and we're going to set it to vector3.distance. So pretty much this takes two positions and it finds out and it calculates how far both of those objects are from each other. So we're using this.transform.position which is the player itself and waypoints we're taking the array and we're plugging in that node variable and this is what we're going to use for telling which object we're focusing on. If we're focusing on the first waypoint or the second one depending on what this is. So since this is going to be set at zero for the first one, it will be referencing the first uh, the first object in the array itself. In game object up find it just finds the game object in the scene, which we uh, labeled them waypoint one and waypoint two. And that's pretty much the code. And then I did debug.log and I made a simple text just for distance plus distance. So it'll display um, how far we are away from that node. And this is all for pretty much simple testing purposes. It doesn't do too much right now. I can go into the, um, let's see here. Actually, yeah, my prefab for my player. And you can go down here and change the node to 0 or 1. I'll show you guys that in a second, how it switches. So if it's set to 0 right now, start server and that's the number we got when we're standing in place 259.7096 and if we go and we change this node to 1 so in future tutorials when we change that it'll reference off a different node so now instead of the other number it's 292.4756 so you can see that both the uh, numbers change I'm just going to go back and reset it back to 0 and we're going to go move towards the object. So for each player, when they spawn, they are going to have a different um, or a separate distance variable. So each player, um, it'll be calculating a different distance to their, depending on which player spawns. Now this is good because during gameplay, I might include a simple feature where a player can drop a node in a location and only their team members can see where the node is. Maybe they need help or something or backup. So maybe they can drop a node and it'll show up on everybody's screen and everybody can run towards whichever node. So you see it's getting closer to zero now that we're here. The node isn't completely on the ground so it's not going to be exactly at zero. So we are going to have to fix that. So it only displays the, um, the X and Z coordinates. So it's not relying on why really it's just as long as you're below it it'll be zero but for right now you'd have to 
multiply a little bit to get to the zero see how it jump. So we have a couple of fixes, but if you want to set up a simple node system, that's exactly how to set one up. Um, that way you don't have a million different um, waypoints that you're dealing with. Now another thing that you could do is create a simple for loop and instead of on your start function have it go through like how I did you can create a for loop and uh, change this to like waypoint one two three and it'll just loop through and it'll be a lot less code than plugging in a million waypoints at the start but if we're using this for online capabilities we won't need this array at all you'll just need one there might need to be an array stored for keeping track of everybody else's uh, that they drop but for now I'm showing um, pretty much offline capabilities for now even though this game is um, has network code in it um, it's mostly used for offline so if you're doing single player waypoint system for your campaign mode this is something you'll want to include in each level where the waypoints are at so the player can be guided to the different locations unless you just want to guide them um, using using buildings or, or objects to guide them where to go but this is a nice little feature if you're having an open environment and you want to make sure that your player gets to the right location 